Golly. All right. Cool. So <laughs> I didn't really get to start out the video like I normally do at the put-in. Um, we are up uh, in on the French River in Ontario. It was the what was it the French River Trading Post yes and trading thank you Yep, yeah, for letting us park there um, however that was not where we originally planned on parking so it did actually add about five kilometers to our trip um, which we kind of thought was like no big deal and it's really not um, it's just so incredibly windy today that yeah we have just been like facing the headwinds non-stop um, so this is the biggest part of the trip like sorry the biggest water on the trip so hopefully we will find a nice spot to stay tonight. We're just uh, about to like go around the corner and start the river proper here. Um, we are on Crown Land right now, I think for the first night. Um, and then as we kind of round around uh, the island, we will be back in the park. So we'll be able to stay there. Um, we are doing the 18 mile island loop. So we plan on going around the whole island. Um, as I said, we've kind of just done one portion of it today. I'll show you on the map a bit later. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of check in and uh, yeah, get this uh, get this baby rolling. <laughs> Holy Dinah! Okay. So we have arrived to a campsite. The tent up here, as you can see, it's got like rocks and stuff holding it down. Um, there's, it's on like a bit of a grassy patch right uh, in between these rocks. Uh, we kind of cruised all over the place, like all over here um, and like down farther um, to see if there were any better spots, uh, but there were not. So this is what we're dealing with tonight. Um, we kind of knew that no matter what we did, today we would be uh, camping close to some cottages and like that's fine yeah so I mean there's a little fire pit here so this is previously been used as a site um, this is crown land so I mean we're cool to camp wherever we want to on here but we thought you know obviously let's use something that's already been designated a site still have a bit of a uh, gear mess here Matt has been portaging a bunch of bananas I think there were six when we started today so they've been keeping him alive we are uh, just trying to find somewhere to put up our tarp because behind me there it's uh potentially gonna rain Ooh, who knows we weren't really sure it's been really cold today too as you can tell it's july happy july and i've got my my rain jacket or my jacket on and my duke uh but you know what i felt that was necessary so it's all good um but yeah so this is our digs for the night hopefully we can get some fire going soon it's so windy so i don't know um but at the very least a twig stove or the jet boil and uh make some food i brought some chili oh my god i'm so excited i can't even wait to eat that i am so starving today we did like 25 kilometers or something like that um up river through some huge bays so that was again like exceedingly windy um but we did it we both have blisters on our hands mine well mine's like developing like right on my palm so that's handy um, but yeah, so this is the first of three nights and of four days. So, you know, we're just gonna try and have some fun, try and relax, because we are both so tired. <laughs> All right, cool. So let me show you here. We originally thought we were going to be starting here at uh, Loon's Landing and just do like a straight shot across to the portage at uh, like a little falls there. Um, however, they were all filled up. So we ended up starting down here at number 16, which you can obviously see adds quite a bit of uh, distance for the day. So then we went up in here into Dry Pine Bay. Um, so then we cruised up in here into 18 Mile Bay. We kind of tucked in some of these islands because uh, it, again, it was super windy. Uh, so we went all the way up here all the way through the third part of uh, 18 Mile Bay, up and around, and then we met up with the French North Channel, went uh, east a little bit here, and we did the 50 meter portage at the rapids, that was super cool. Um, and then, yeah, kind of kept going, there was a footbridge here, since we're going against the current, uh, there was a bit of a swift there that we had to paddle up, so that was 
fun. We felt like we weren't even moving for like a couple seconds. Um, so then we knew that there were some crown sites here. So we uh, just kind of came into the wide part of the North Channel and we stopped like right here on this peak. Um, originally, when we were planning, we had hoped to get all the way here to Ash Bay. Oh my God, I'm getting attacked by the tree. So yeah, like we'll be able to make that time up. That's no problem. We just have to stay on our game and stay organized and just uh, stay well fed and stay strong. <laughs> Yo, so that was quite the day. But hey, I'm feeling good. I just had some chili. I'm entering food coma status at this point. Um, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm tired, but yeah, glad we made it, made it as far as we did. Nice. And uh, yeah, stoked to roast some hot dogs. <laughs> yeah, we just got this little bad boy going here. Um, you can see Bucky in the background with her little light up collar so we know where she is. Um, yeah. Like I said, I just have my chili, so that's good. And uh, Matt's gonna make some some fire dogs, <laughs> and then go to bed. Good morning. It's about 6:30, um, or maybe closer to 7, on our second day on the French River. Um, yeah, it rained a little bit. We weren't really sure if it was going to or not, but sometimes it's kind of nice to sleep with the uh, the rain on your tent. Um, a pretty chill sight, so that was cool. Matt's just taking the dog out um, to hit the food barrel here. And I'm just kind of doing some preliminary tidying up of the tent. Like, I usually like to um, just like flatten out the air mattresses right when we get up. That way it's just easier to roll them up in a little bit when we're all set to go. Um, yeah, so hopefully gonna have some uh, breakfast here soon. I'm super hungry and I need to do a better job of eating on these trips. Um, I am so bad for that. I just sort of take like a, on a little snack here and there and then I just feel completely depleted at the end of the day. Um, so I have to try and do a better job of that, but I brought way more delicious food with me this time. <clears throat> I even um, treated myself to a dehydrator and dehydrated a bunch of fruit so I can like throw that in my oatmeal and just eat it as a snack kind of thing. Um, so, you know, the steps are being taken for success. <laughs> nice, so let's uh, see what it's like outside this morning. <laughs> just getting ready to leave our site uh, which is right here um, so that that was a pretty good spot to uh, to stay and hope we are hoping to make it all the way to Ash Bay at the edge of the map here for lunch um, also to flip the map over <laughs> uh, it is super windy again today so I'm not sure how much filming I'll be able to do on the water because it is just so windy. It's incredibly hard to paddle against the current and the wind, uh, but we'll see what I can do. Uh, yeah, but hopefully we'll be able to check in around Ash Bay. Time for a little update. 
So we um, have been paddling since just after nine, so it's about three hours now. It's just a little bit after noon. Um, and I think, according to Matt's watch, we've done maybe about 12 kilometers. So that's not bad at all. I'm really happy with that. Uh, this is Ash Bay. So we did actually, I already had to flip the map over. So we paddled all the way from kind of over here all the way to Ash Bay. Um, and we are right here at the Cedar Rapids right now. Hopefully get all of this done today um, and hopefully end up somewhere over here at the, the top of the North Channel um, where it starts to turn south a little bit. I'm not sure if we're gonna be portaging or doing any of these rapids here today, um, but we'd like to stay somewhere, somewhere in this area just to give us a head start for the next day because we do still have uh, two more days to get this done and we basically yeah, have to go all the way back here <laughs> uh, to the takeout. Awesome, let's go check out these rapids. Always there to help. Oh God, Bucky almost fell in the freaking quagmire. Nice. So we've hit the uh, next set of rapids here. You can see that. Um, we were thinking it was supposed to be a 400 meter portage, but it's really not clear because we're still on Crown Land. Uh, there's not, sorry, I'm looking at Starbucks. Um, there's not any like marked portages. Um, I'm not quite sure what time it is. It's probably like two o'clock or so. Hopefully not much later, oh my God. Um, yeah, we have a lot left to do. This was like a really big undertaking for us and we are going a little bit slower than we had thought maybe. Um, but you know what, that's fine. We're just gonna have to uh, make the best of it and get this done and just go into beast mode and just uh, power it out till we get a campsite. <laughs> We are still on the North Channel. We are just about, oh my God, excuse me. This has been hard. We're doing well. We're doing well. We're just taking a quick break. Just need some sunscreen and some water. Um, and then, you know, take a quick like 
look at the map to sort of make sure we're where we think we are um, and then we can yeah head around the corner and uh, hopefully find a site sooner or later we're kind of hoping and thinking we'll probably be paddling until about maybe seven or eight tonight we just so badly want to make up ground that we lost yesterday in the wind day that was Matt jumping into the, the river um, awesome yeah so you know I've been doing my best to try to capture some action here it's a little more difficult because it's been so windy and I mean you miss one paddle stroke and your whole bow is like off to the side so um, you know hopefully I'll be able to keep that up but definitely we'll be checking in at camp <laughs> Okay, this is a big moment. We finally just went around the corner and we're going with the current. Woo! Oh my God, two days against the current into the wind. Finally, we have come around the corner from the North Channel at Wolseley Bay and we are with the current. Yes.